Hey guys, Chef Spalding back with another video. Today we're going to be going over the rotation that I used for the Bass Comp this past year. It is the April Bass Comp, uh, how I made it through, what I used, where I went. My first spot I started off at Woody Enchantment using the Bassmaster 7.3 Sport. It's 23 pound setup all the way across, 23 pound rod, 23 pound reel, and 23 pound line. Right now I got 26 pound line, but it'll work just as well. So we're going to head over to Woody Enchantment using the X Series 1.5 ounce single spoon. Again, we're going for largemouth bass. You're going to start over on this side of the most popular bass spot here. I'm going to let it sink. Doing a number two twitch all the way in. What you're going to do is you're going to hit a trophy. Once you hit a trophy, you're going to move on to the next spot. Here, as you can see, I caught a humongous branch. I'm going to do one more cast, see if we can get a fish in. During the first hour of the comp, I ran through a plethora of bass jigs, of backers, of worms, nymphs, everything, and this seemed to work the best in the second hour. Second hour, they just went nuts over this thing, getting me seventh place, eighth place to qualify for the semis. Ended up taking the semis to the finals and ended up in 17th place. This is the first location. After we reel this in, we'll move on to the second one. If you're wondering how to get the X Series Single Spoon, if you head on over to my Twitch page, it's Chef Spalding. Type exclamation X, exclamation mark X in the chat. The link will come up and it'll show you where you need to go, what day. Uh, this one you can actually go over to Lesney Villa. It's one of the it's a second map that you open. It is very cheap to get and one of the most effective spoons that you can have in a lot of different aspects, catching a lot of different fish. Second location I go to is the overturned truck, the great parking job, <clears throat> and I cast in one spot. Go over to the corner as far as you can go, point right. And you're going to bring it in right across here, across the front. I'm going to cast right out there in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and cast until I hit another trophy. If I cast 10 times and don't hit anything, I'm going to move on to the next location. I'm not going to sit in one spot until I hit a trophy. I'm going to keep on making my rotation and until if I hit uh, three or four fish, small ones, then I'll move on to the next one. If I had uh, my trophy on the first cast, I'll move on to the next spot. Keep the rotation constantly the entire time, ensuring I'm not spending too much time and wasting time during the comp on where I could possibly get a trophy in faster in another location. You will catch smallmouth here, as you just seen, but you can typically get a trophy and they'll follow it all the way into here. If you look down and you see a fish in the water following it, what I like to do is just peg the mouse to where I'm just working a little bit, and that fish will typically hit it. They really like to hit right between the weeds and the front of the truck. And half the time you get stuck on the truck, but just keep on reeling in. Next location I'll go is to the bottom to Rubble of Old Times. Spawn here, and we're going to go to the back side of the branches that we started off at. The three point rotation. And it was very effective for me in the comp, especially in the last hour in which I had, I think, one or two trophies in the first hour and the rest showed up in the second hour. 
So let it sink, run it through. During the comp, make sure you keep an eye on the barometer in the top left. Making sure that you're keeping within the area of the waterway on where the fish are going to be at. Do you have any questions about how that works? Put a comment down below. I'll be glad to either do a video or answer the question. This is the rotation that I used. We didn't have any luck in this video catching any. Uh, it was very effective in the competition itself. When you're fishing comps, it's completely different in the comp of where you're catching fish, how you're catching them, what you're using than it is outside. You can find some things that are effective outside. If I were to put a bass jig on here, I'd probably nail them a lot faster. But in the comp itself, I have the single spoon was a lot more effective than any of the bass jigs that I used. I ran the bass jig with several different types of worms. I used the nymphs, grubs, a number of different things in the first hour, and they just weren't hitting anything. Second hour, I threw this on, and it was they just blew up so rule of thumb five ten casts if you don't hit one move to the next spot cast back in here so on and so forth if you throw in first time second cast third cast you hit a trophy move on to the next spot just keep that rotation all around the entire time and it should be pretty effective i can't guarantee they're going to hit top 20 but i can guarantee you that you'll catch your trophies doing it that way it's still up to the game whether you're going to get the size that you need to um go through and qualify but it was very effective so hope you enjoyed the video make sure to check me out on twitch chef spalding if you have any questions at all uh hit the follow button and turn your notifications on i stream most days uh, at least a few hours so stop on by ask your question or put it in the comment box below and i'll make sure to get back to you hope you enjoy the video have a great day